access granted. Hello everybody and welcome to today's Necromunda Battle Report. This is Land Train Play and today we're going to watch uh, the battle report between Escher and Dalak. This game is a warm up game for the coming campaign which will be starting again next week. And yeah, the uh, battle is going to be uh, takeover. So three objectives, one in the center, two uh, no more than 18 away from any other objective. And the victory conditions are the uh, attacker must control uh, must have more fighters within three inches to control the objective. Once it's controlled, the defender cannot take it back. And uh, we also played subplots. The subplot I drew was for uh, one of my opponent's gang was uh, an imposter, and it was working for me, so I got to control him. And uh, my opponent drew uh, a graffiti one where he uh, gained experience for pl placing uh, graffiti in my uh, deployment zone on uh, terrain features. Um, we also drew tactics cards, two tactics, two tactics cards each. We both drew a click and which was the other one. I can't remember what the second one was for my opponent drew. Uh, I'm not sure if he used it or not. Uh, the second tactic card I drew was something to do with blood. Um, blood debt, maybe? Basically what happened is when one of his, his fighters took one of mine out of action, I could play the card and it gave anybody that targeted his, act, uh, his fighter who took mine out of action, uh, plus one to hit. It ended up not being really relevant, but it was fun to play anyway. Uh, so let's get into the action. So here's a quick look at the table. It's more of a um, wasteland type feel for it. I really enjoyed this, this look. Um, I had to deploy first as the attacker, which is why all mine are ready. I had uh, three on the left, a ganger and two, a champion and two gangers. I had my death maiden, my leader, and uh, some others in this uh, in the center. Uh, my opponent spread his his very Spartan gang out because he only had six at the start which quickly became five when uh, I took control of one of his gang members. He has somebody in reserve, which is some um, Dilak combat specialist. So he got priority, took his first move, and took a shot at my wild runner, right across the board with his long rifle. So there's a roll to hit, hits on a four, easily done with the long rifle, with a plus one to hit, and then fails to wound on the two, leaving the wild runner pinned, but nothing big. For my first activation, I activated my imposter ganger with the auto gun, and we rolled the cock dice. Hit on the three with the plus one and the aim, shooting at his leader. Um, only got the one hit, which failed to wound, but left his leader pinned. In response, his leader stands up and shoots at short range with with a melter gun, and then proceeds well, to hit on the on the five and then twos to wound because it's a melter gun was successful and then proceeds to melt his face off. So the objective with that guy was to get him to my deployment zone. There was no way that was going to happen with him being right next to his leader. 
my next activation was to activate one of my gangers and move them up. She moved twice to climb up the the building. He then did the same, activated one of his guys, double moved, staying out of sight. Next I went with my wild runner. She stands up and moves her six inches into cover. He then moves uh, his other ganger, double moves to underneath the tower. Uh, I then activate my champion and another ganger in a group, activating the ganger first. The ganger is the blue, the champion is the uh, yellow. So staying out of sight but staying in range of the uh, objective to claim it. And the champion following doing the same. Um, then I go with my other uh, ganger with the Lasgun hotshot. She moves twice, getting up into a tr position to try and shoot. And then I do a group activate. Uh, then uh, I activate with my leader and do a group activation, moving my ganger with the shotgun out to the right to try and get some kind of field of fire and spread out my forces a bit. And then double move with my leader and my death maiden to support my other ganger that was on the tray. Uh, we roll off a dice, and he got the initiative uh, he takes uh, oh yes aiming and shooting with his sniper again for uh, shooting at my at one of my girls which turns out you, you couldn't actually see um, but he did it anyway then I activated my uh, Wild Runner, she moved twice, getting into cover, so no blocking line of sight, getting at the bottom of the tower, the center tower, with the objective on. Uh, then activated my uh, other ganger with the last gun, she double moved to get onto the bridge between the objective, what we currently control, um, and uh, move up. Again, he moves up with his leader twice to uh, move him to support his other guy, and he brought in his um, his fighter that was uh, deep striking, we'll call it, and just used for graffiti. Uh, I took a shot with my champion with a last gun at his sniper, missed with a one. Uh, this is a common theme with this game on the left side here and then my ganger aimed and shot she moved and shot at the minus one and missed lots of missing with the shooting his ganger here threw a grenade moved and threw a grenade but it was too far so we drew the we pulled the grenade back the couple of inches and it ended up being on the floor this is unfortunately where the footage ran out as my camera battery ran out. Um, uh, so sadly we missed the majority of the action as things started to heat up. Um, in his next turn he moved his combat specialist out and charged the, uh, the blue ganger that I had on the left hand side of the table and I moved my Death Maiden across to the left uh, to support those gangs to f help fight his close combat specialist. Uh, he fell for my trick as I left a ganger within five, six inches of my Death Maiden. He charged that and then got countercharged by my Death Maiden and put out of action, but he did take two of my gangers out with that combat specialist. Pretty nasty with the 
a phase rule on his claws that ignore armor saves and a strength 6 was pretty crazy. So that's something definitely to be looking out for in the future games in the coming campaign. Um, what else happened? A lot of it was just... Oh, I played the click card on his melter gun. So that ran out. Then he played the click card on my plasma gun. So that ran out of ammo, which was to be expected. Uh, I played the bad blood card on his combat specialist after he took out my first fighter. And again, that didn't really do much because at that point everybody was either hitting them at twos because of short range and being ballistic skill three. Um, so it didn't make a massive difference. And he also had spring up so he could jump back up and uh, charge anyway with a with a past initiative test. Um, the only real thing that happened towards the end, I shot one of his, the, the guy that I, he had on the tower, on the tower to the right, um, seriously injured but didn't kill, but then in the recovery phase he went out of action. And the center tower, my wild runner proceeded to climb each turn uh, unmolested and in before the last turn she charged up with her uh, charged the final level up and got into combat with his uh, ganger with a web gun web pistol because I don't want that hitting me so went into combat risked it two attacks on the charge hit once and at strength two needing five to wound I succeeded wounded him he failed his armor save and I rolled a serious injury so with the strength two wild runner I managed to put out of action um, his gang are controlling the last objective and ended up gaining gaining all three at the end of it all he had left was his sniper and his leader who only had his shock baton um, I still had I still had all my champions um, and most of my gang so it was in a pretty good place and it was a very fun warm up to see what we're going to do for the coming campaign um, as for that that's all today and uh, thank you for listening and we'll look to see you in the very short uh, in the not too distant future so in a couple of weeks maybe a week we'll have the actual big uh, start up again of the sec well, the second part of our campaign. Don't know who's playing who yet. Um, but it's definitely looks like it's going to be fun. We have a lot of gangs. Before the next uh, campaign, I will show a screenshot. I'll show you a picture of the all of the gangs in the campaign. We have nice spread. Uh, and there is lots of players and only two corpse grinder cult so that's the only one that i think we really need to be looking out for and making sure we get plenty of template and blast weapons to try and deal with those um, but that's all for today folks so again thank you for listening and until next time take care <music>